Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be doing a little story time, get ready with me. So I am going to be talking about my end of 2022, beginning of 2023, kind of just going over some resolutions, some goals, and while, well, you know, getting ready and doing my makeup. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So I have already put on my e.l.f. Holy Hydration Daily Moisturizer, my Essence Lip Care Booster Lip Serum, my Thrive Cosmetics um, Brow Liner and Brow Gel. So I already have my brows on. And now we're going to do my eyes first. I think I'm going to start with... Where is my, oh here it is, my Thrive Cosmetics Concealer. This is in Fair Cool, and I'm going to put this all over my eyes and then set it with, you could use any cream shadow, but my Thrive Cosmetics Perfect Eye Palette is right here. So I'm going to use this cream colored um, shadow to set it, and then we are going to go into the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette, which is a new palette to my collection. So we're gonna use that today, so I'm excited. But yeah, how are, how is everyone's new year going? I hope it's going well. I had a crazy end to 2022. I went home for Christmas to my parents in western new york area and oh my gosh i didn't we didn't know that the storm was coming so if you hadn't heard there was this major crazy storm so um basically christmas was canceled which was so unfortunate because i don't live near my parents anymore so i drove all the way there like it's along you know it's not easy for me to just run home and I did have a lot of friend time I got to see a bunch of my friends uh, before the storm so that was really nice I even went bridesmaid shopping bridesmaid dress shopping I'm in I'm a bridesmaid in one of my friends weddings and you know I went bridesmaid dress shopping so that was really fun so I had a lot of fun with friends before the storm but once it hit I was stuck in the house um, for five days I think and um, normally that wouldn't be the end of the world and it wasn't honestly there was so many people that were less fortunate and I and you know did maybe were stuck in the cold and I so I really should not be complaining I'm very lucky that we were okay it was just sad for me because it was right over Christmas time so I didn't get to see my family that I kind of came to see my extended family but I did get a lot of time with my parents I was stuck in the house with my parents and uh, my boyfriend Randy and so we had fun we made the best of it but it was still it was just un it was just annoying like it was just sad that I didn't get to see my grandparents I, I did get to see before the storm, um, two of my grandparents, but my one grandma I didn't see, aunts and uncles I didn't see, so I was cousins, you know, I was just kind of bummed. Okay, for the, for the, um, Patrick Ta palette, we are going to go in first with this shade here, and then maybe a little bit of this shade here, so these two in the crease. Um, and then, yeah, I'm thinking these two, maybe a little bit of this in the outer corner, and then these shimmers over here. They're just so pretty. The story with this palette is I was in Sephora with my great friend Nikki, and we, I, you know, we were kind of looking at palettes, and she was just like, oh, you know, I want this one, I want this one, and I was like, I'll show you the one I want, and I showed her this one, and she was like, oh my god, I have to have it, so then she wanted to buy it, and I was like, you're not buying it without me buying it too, you know what I mean, because <laughs> it was my idea in the first place, so we both ended up buying it, 
and yeah, I just love the different textures. I have tried, I'm not going to do the creams today, but I have tried them, and I do really like the creams too. So I like how there's creams, there's mattes, and there's these gorgeous shimmers as well. This is pretty dark on its own, so I think I'm just going to use this shade in the crease and then try that one in the outer corner and see if we need to deepen even further. But yeah, so it was a crazy holiday time. I was just like annoyed that I, and the reason I couldn't see my family after that is because we had to go to Randy's family as well. Like that was the deal. We'd spend Christmas with my family and then go right after to his family so i just ended up missing the whole celebration with my extended family so i was just kind of bummed about it but we honestly were safe and another funny thing that happened um during the storm was my mom, my dad looked out the window and saw this morning dove this bird at the time we didn't know but it was a morning dove and it was just stuck, like it must have been flying. The storm was literally crazy. They said that it was a storm of like the century, like it's it was insane. The wind was absolutely terrible. The snow was crazy. And um, this bird must have been flying and it just kind of, the wind must have knocked it down into a snow bank. And so my dad was just like pointing it out and my mom, runs and gets her coat she's just the best I mean she has such a heart of gold and we all were kind of like what do we do she just ran and got her coat got her hat and everything and just went out there grabbed it with her hands and then came back inside and um we actually kept the bird through the whole storm which was really fun and just wild and so we kept it in our we have a cat and my family has a cat and we kept it in um the cat carrier because obviously it has holes and everything but we we felt bad that it wasn't it didn't have too much room to fly but it was so cold outside and so bad that we called a bird expert and they told us to keep the bird in the cage until it got above a certain degrees so we did we we saved a, a morning dove and it was kind of interesting because apparently i looked it up and morning doves mean usually that like you're getting visited by a deceased loved one and that day my dad found out that his aunt passed away which was sad she was she was very old um but still it was just like, maybe it's his aunt, maybe it's someone else in our life that have passed away, but apparently that's what morning doves represent. So it was just a wild time, but I think I really needed, everything happens for a reason, and I think I really did need that, um, that bird to visit us, because at that point, it was right towards the begin. it was actually the beginning of the storm that towards the beginning of the storm that that bird came and I think it just reminded me like oh you know there's so much more bigger like I was just sad about missing knowing that I would be missing Christmas and not being able to see my family um you know for months probably at this point because I can't see them now you know in December and I'm leaving you know so I think this bird reminded me that it's, you know, it's, yeah, like, that sucks, but the, this bird was literally going to die. Like, life is just very precious, and you need to be thankful and help one another. I don't know. It just, it was, like, a very symbolic thing for me, and I feel like it pulled me out of the sadness I was in, and it was just, like, you have bigger things to worry about. You need to be feeding this little bird, and, well, it wasn't too little. It was pretty big. <laughs> Was kind of big but um you know there's just other things to focus your energy on and you know how lucky we are to even be alive is kind of what I gained from that bird next I'm going to be using the I lift 360 waterproof primer from thrive cosmetics 
kind of, I think I'm just going to kind of use my hands or my fingers to just kind of put a little primer before the shimmer shade, especially these shimmers, I feel like they kind of need a primer to grip on. Mm, that's my guess because, I mean, I used, every time I've used this, I've used primer just because they are so, like, foiled and I don't know, I feel like it would get everywhere if we didn't use a primer. So, yeah, it was just a wild time with this storm, but I did have a great time with my parents and I feel like we made the most of it. We had enough food. Our power never went out, which was surprising because a lot of people, even on our street, some people's power went out. So we were very lucky. I'm taking the second shimmer in, that pink. I wore this purple sweater because I thought it would be more purple, but I feel like it's more mauve than I thought. Even in, even though in the packaging it looks more... No, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> but look at that shimmer. I don't know if you can tell, but it is very foiled and pretty and like dimensional i don't know very pretty i'd love to hear your holiday stories hopefully yours wasn't as hectic as mine your holiday time um but but yeah we made it out of the storm and then we had to wait for the roads to open back up again because we were literally in like a state of emergency which was insane. So, you know, and I'm from that area, so I know snow, I know, but this was different. Like, I know that type of weather, but this was totally crazy and so wild, but we made it out, and so we had to go right to Randy's family, and it was... And also, my mom did release the dove after this. I don't know if I mentioned that. After the storm was over. And she, you know, the dove flew away. And was fine. But, um, but yeah, she was literally frozen when we found her. Like, we had to put her, you know, and um, even her being in the warm house. Like, she, it was crazy. She unthawed, basic, basically. Um, I'm going to go ahead in with some liquid liner. I know I'm using a lot of Thrive Cosmetics products, but I promise I'm going to use some Rare Beauty products and Merit products, Tarte. I have other, lots of things going on. Um, next we are going to do face and then I'll come back to the eyes, but I'm gonna use the Sunproof Priming Sunscreen from Thrive Cosmetics and then also the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. But then we went to Randy's parents' place and spent some time with them. We spent New Year's with them and it was really nice. We also, I was happy to see Randy's extended family as well. We went and saw his um, aunt and uncle and cousins, and um, that was really nice too. So we did have a good time with them. We went, um, you know, we were just kind of at his parents' house. I did have to work a little bit while we were there. But the sad part was we li I literally just started the new year and then I got sick and it was just like, ugh, it's so annoying when that happens. That happened to me last year too. I, I don't get sick often, but I did like right in the new year last year and then, you know, right this year as well. It's just like because you're seeing more people, I'm sure, during um, the holiday time. I don't know, but it was just annoying just I love New Year's so it was annoying to start the year off on like a sour note of being sick but I am better now it was just frustrating at the time and then but it was a great visit still even still um, and then 
Yeah, but I think that was mostly the holiday time. Then we came back here, and um, but before we get to New Year's stuff, I wanted to, you know, like resolutions and stuff, I wanted to reflect on 2022. I'm going to use my Rare Beauty. This is the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20. And I do not know the shade of it, but here it is. So if we're reflecting on 2022, one thing that happened in the beginning of the year is I got Prince, my little winter white dwarf hamster. He is so cute. Me and my boyfriend were not ready. Just because we travel a lot, we weren't really ready for like a cat or dog or anything. So we got this little hamster and I had them when I was little so I just knew how to take care of them and I thought why not it's a really easy pet and we wanted a pet and he is so cute you know he keeps us entertained and um he's was something really fun that happened in 2022 we explored new areas so we definitely you know, we moved here in, we moved away from home in 2021, end of 2021, and then 2022, I feel like we were just really exploring the new area, exploring different states a little bit, it was just really nice, so spoiler alert to New Year's resolution, but I do really want to explore even more areas and, you know, just kind of travel a little bit more and see more things that we haven't seen yet um but that is one thing we did then i also started vlogging and editing <laughs> my videos so i definitely feel like i stepped up my youtube channel a little bit more i definitely could do more but i am glad that i started doing different types of videos this year and um also i'm editing more which I actually kind of like editing it's kind of relaxing somehow but or I don't know I kind of like it so that is some other things that happened this year next I'm going to go in with my Merit uh, clay bronze balm the shade is clay I believe and we're just going to bronze a little some other highlights were going to Thousand Islands with my family for like a big family vacation and that was really nice and then we went to, I went camping with the other side of my family in June so that was just really nice and fun and so nice to have family time and just have a nice like relaxing vacation so those were highlights for sure those two trips kind of and then um i did get a vintage pink typewriter this year so i wrote that down as something that was kind of exciting of the year and um i read 14 books i definitely want to maybe do more for the new year we'll see but with working and everything, I, you know, I don't want to put too high of a goal. Like, I want to enjoy what I, what I read. I'm going to use my Thrive Cosmetics Kaiza blush. And then as for 2023, I feel like, I don't know, I just love the concept of a fresh start. Most definitely, I think New Year's is probably my favorite holiday I don't know I love Christmas but I really love New Year's and just kind of having that fresh start talking about resolutions and then just kind of resolutions I have specifically for YouTube I do want to grow my YouTube work on improving it doing some fun videos and um, I do want to more so schedule my just for my own piece of mine I'm using the same concealer here and then I think I'm going to use the Thrive Cosmetics um, little 
power. But yeah, I think I want to schedule my YouTube videos so that they're more um, planned and I have it scheduled and ready to go at a certain date. That's kind of what I've been trying to do the end of 2022 just because I was traveling and I didn't want to have to worry about uploading and editing and stuff so I kind of had things ready in advance so I'm trying for like every Saturday or every other Saturday and upload will go out so that's kind of my plan there but another one is I want to paint my vanity this is I'm sitting at my vanity now and it is vintage and I it came painted really nice but now I kind of I don't know I feel like I've been messy and just over time it gets kind of gross so I want to refresh that paint that's something random um, I want to wear more bold lip colors this year I feel like I'm always more of that nude pink type of girl with lip colors I think with makeup trends a lot of people are predicting that 2023 will be the year for more bold lips and so it kind of got me thinking I want to be more open to that in the new year. I'm going to use the pressed powder now to set the powder. I'm sorry to set the, the foundation on the rest of my face. I really like this look so far. I'm going to take the same shade that I used for my crease color earlier and just kind of drag it down here. I'm going to take my Kaja Beauty Bento, the first shade in here. This is Chocolate Dahlia. I don't know, the Patrick Ta, I don't really like the shade for inner corner, so I wanted something a bit brighter, so I'm going to put this here. Specific to makeup, I put that I want to use eye crystals more and try graphic liner. Those are looks I want to do. I curled my lashes. Now let's go in with our Thrive Cosmetics Brin Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. I also have the Blink one that I enjoy and I have both of them open but I grabbed <laughs> this mascara just out of habit. Look at that. Look at the difference. I love it. One great thing that happened in the new year is my amazing friend Nikki visited me here at my apartment. She drove here and we had such a great time. We went shopping. We went antiquing. I actually bought a lot of stuff with her and so I'm wondering if I should do a haul or maybe I'm trying to decide between doing a big haul or doing like mini hauls <laughs> throughout other videos like throughout vlogs or something let me know if you have a preference there but we did do some damage with shopping we had so much fun though it was amazing okay my camera is dying so we have to hurry up um, I'm going to take the Kevin Aquan Jewel Pop bronzer the sculpting medium and then the blink glow getter face palette i'm going to mix these two shades probably and then use this highlight but let's keep it moving <laughs> but yeah so nikki visited it was so much fun and i loved having her here and i was kind of she left just the other day and i was kind of sad because we had so much fun but i will definitely see her soon it was just it was just fun. We have been friends since I was in third grade, so it's been a while. I just, I love her. <laughs> it was so nice. There's nothing like some girl time, you know? But yeah, I think I shared most of the resolutions I wanted to share. I have other pers more personal ones that I just don't really want to go into, <laughs> but yeah i'm excited for the new year i'm hoping it'll be a great one 2022 was really great i thought i enjoyed it a lot so i'm excited for the possibilities and fun in the 
new year and i think this was it that's all oh wait no no i need i need some lip product i'm gonna go in with gizlan it is the lip liner from thrive cosmetics I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty Lip Whip in Courage. I think these two go together better. I have this Merit Lipstick and I have this Heart ooh, Lip Plump, but I don't think they really go. So we're gonna keep it at that. I hope you enjoyed this crazy video. I had so much fun getting ready with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. So excited for more videos coming and just to see what this new year brings. But I hope you enjoyed this little story time get ready with me and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Let me know what you think of this look. I think I like it. I went a little more purple here and more mauve here but you know there's no rules here makeup is fun and you know it all washes off so why not have fun with it but hope you guys enjoyed and have a great rest of your day bye